Hi everybody, welcome back. It's, again, this is Miss Barry and we are learning skills. This is our Tuesday lesson for skills. So if you have not viewed the Monday lesson yet, please stop the video, go back and watch Monday first. So today for skills, we are going to continue working on our target. I can read silent E words with a suffix added. So we're gonna read that together using our mirror ready. Mirror, mirror with words. I can read silent E words with a suffix added. Great job. So if we're reading silent E words with a suffix added, today the one that we are focusing on is ing. So yesterday for Monday we added S to our words, today we're adding ing. Now I have to tell you ING is a little bit more tricky than S's, so we wanna make sure that we're having our best listening and our focused attention so that we can understand this. Are you ready? Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. Great job. Okay, so we are working on adding ING. I wanna take a look at our first weird word here and I actually copied it onto my board. This word, go ahead and read it. Big, yes. So if I said that I was baking with my mom, I need to change the word bake to baking. So we have a really, really tricky rule and I wanna explain this to you. So I want to add the ending ing, but there's something about this ending that makes it tough. So let's take a look here. When we look at ing, I want you to look at the first letter. This first letter, I, is it a vowel or is it a consonant? Yes, I is a vowel. Here are all our vowels at the top. This suffix starts with a vowel. Now we also know that our CVC E word ends with a vowel, E is a vowel. So we don't want to have two vowels right next to each other, that E and the I. It just doesn't work how we want it to. So we have a rule that we use when we want to add ing to a CBC E word. And the rule goes like this. First we drop the E, then add ing. So we get rid of this E and drop it, drop the E, then add ing. So the word bake becomes baking. I am baking with my mom. So again, I want you to repeat that rule with me. We're going to drop the E, then add ING. Drop the E, then add ING. Drop the E, then add ING. You try. Great job. Drop the E, then add ing. When you finish with this lesson, there's another video linked in your Google Classroom for you to practice that a little bit more. But well, let's keep moving. So I have our next word from our anchor chart. This word, go ahead and read it. Smile, yes. So we wanna change the word smile to smiling. If I'm changing this word, I need to remember my rule that I'm going to drop the E then add ing. So the word smile becomes, you try, smiling. Yes, I'm smiling at the camera. <laughs> Great job. So let's try another one. Let's clear these out. Our next word is drive. If I would like to say that I am driving my car and I want to change this word, I have to follow the rule. I drop the e then add ing. So that changed my word from drive to driving. Yes, drive to driving, great job. So let's take a look at our anchor chart and see if we can do some more of these. So remember our target today is I can read silent E words with a suffix added and we're adding ing. So we've already read these first couple words and I showed you how this works. So this word, when we read it, it's still going to make the long vowel sound. Even though that E is missing because we dropped it, that A does not change the sound. It's still gonna make its long vowel sound. 
a bacon. This I is still going to make its long I sound. Smiling. Smiling. Great job. This I still is going to make its long sound. Driving. Driving. Okay. I want you to try this next one with me. So I dropped the E, but that A will still make its long sound. What does a long A say? A, A, A. Great. So let's try that. W A wave ing. Let's crash them together. Wave ing waving. Great job. Let's try our next one. Ready? R -u Sorry, friends, let's try that again. Ready? This word is rule, rule, ing. Let's put it together. Rule, ing, ruling. Great job. Hmm. Help me out with this one again. What sound is that O going to make? Remember, we dropped the E, but this still makes a long sound. So it will say O, O, O. Ready? Huh, O. Hope ing. Let's put it together. Hope ing. Hoping. Great job. Now I want you to try. So I tried. We tried together. Now it's your turn. Ready? Think about how we used to have a silent E here, which makes the vowel make its long sound. Try it. Add the ending. Noting, noting. Great job. Try your next one. Add the ending. Vote ing, voting. Good job. Another one. Put it all together. Saving. Last one. Put it all together. Riding. Great job. So we've worked on adding ing to our silent e words. The way we did that was drop the e, then add ing. You try. Drop the e, then add ing. Let's say it three times. Drop the e, then add ing. Drop the e, then add ing. Drop the e, then add ing. Great job, my friends. So we're going to continue to practice this all week. And we're going to be working on some even trickier suffix as we move on. So again, we practiced reading silent E words with the suffix added. The suffix that we did on Monday was S. The suffix that we did today was ING. Tomorrow we will do ED. Great. So your job next is to go back to Google Classroom. And in Google Classroom, you will be going to the next assignment down. And today you will be working with some sight words. So go ahead and get started on that. Um, actually, no, I apologize. You're doing trash to treasure today. It's Tuesday. So you'll do trash to treasure. The trash to treasure words are attached in the document. So you'll wanna take a word, or I'm sorry, a word part and turn it into treasure and make a new word out of it. I'll be able to see your work as you get it finished. So go ahead and get started.